Welcome back guys to another amazing LSPDFR GTA 5 UK Police Patrol and this time around we're playing as the SCO 919 as we used to I think a few episodes earlier we've also known as the MO19 in the Met Police but this is the cars that they used for the traffic which we were in the garage of because it usually is typical for them to put the armed response vehicles in the traffic garage or where all the special units are. Here are the ARVs that we'll be using today as always it's the BMW X5 but this time we're not choosing the marked version we are rolling out in the unmarked version so this is used for the exactly the same purposes as the marked one it's just that it gives us a bit of an edge it's just as capable it has the exact same equipment and everything and my partner officer needle dick over here so we recruit him now as you see he's got two tasers because he's a bit trigger happy oh gosh i'm really worried about what's going to happen now we're going to see if the um if he actually helps us out when we're getting to shoot at some people because i'm not exactly sure whether in menu with a partner they defend you or not with their bodyguards or not but we will see what happens so get inside our car this is the vehicle we're using today as i said exact same as the marked version it's just the unmarked version even the sirens are the same oh my gosh did you get that car oh man okay there was there was something that happened the other time like when i had this situation there was a vehicle options there was something called child lock which i was able to put on um is it gonna work door locks Child lock. It's. Oh, I thought it was going to be working then. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Okay, so what I've had to do is I have to make Mr. Needle Dick over here be a regular cop model because apparently the SWAT slot does not work. But it doesn't really matter because, as typical, sometimes we'll roll with regular coppers. So, as you can see, with the exact same division, he's just wearing his regular uniform because he's not allowed to wear the black uniform yet. He's not cool enough. Alright, this car should work fine now. As you can see, you've got a nice lighting setup over there. So we're going to be a covert armed response unit today. Let's see inside. You can see me and Needle Dick are comfort comfortably sitting in here. We're going to go right out the station now. Also, I have the dash cam just in case you guys want to see. We've also got the seatbelt chime in the background to make things a bit more immersive because we're only driving BMWs today, so what the hell. Pop my seatbelt on. All is good. We'll go ready to uh, roll out on a new call out. So let's go put ourselves available for duty. Keep an eye on the roads as well. There might be dodgy stuff happening. So let's see what happens. Uh, active shooter. Ooh, okay. First call, active shooter. As always, my partner has the taser because I do not trust him with a gun at all. So priority one, I grid response to that. Both roads clear. Let's go. So call sign today is Trojan 03. We're heading there right now on Capital Boulevard. Estimated time of arrival will be about a minute or so. Okay, as always, we turn the sirens off we get on the scene, especially as we're a covert unit. Oh my gosh, shit's going down. This car does not have visible reds, does it? But let's just park up here. Okay, Trojan 03 on scene. I believe the shoes are coming from this direction. We go to the back and we'll get our weapon out of the boot. There we go. As you can see, I've got an EOTEX gun sight on my weapon. Needle Dick's got his taser. And we'll try and uh, open fire if they shoot at us. But if they're uh, basically giving up, we'll just tase them if they're like uh, running off or something. We won't have to shoot them. Alright, let's go. We're in the area. We could call some backup. Extra CO19 units are on the way. Um, I have visual on the suspect. One down. Second victor. Looking for him in the area now. That's a nickname we give to terrorists or people that are like, you know, armed to silence. We call them victors instead of tangos because Americans call them tangos. I don't know why that's the case, but um, it's how it goes. Get out of the area. Oh my gosh, she's blocking me. Let's see if we can marksman take this person down. Oh, second person. Multiple suspects in the area. We've got a shootout, full blown shootout. Um, advising all the other units to stay back. Multiple armed units in the area now. It's by the Honda. Okay, all suspects are down, I believe. But they're still shooting at someone, so let's carefully help these coppers out. What's going on here? Oh, there's someone else shooting. 
gets cover. We've been shot at by somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, she's hitting me. On the ground. Right, she's knocked out. <laughs> okay, that was a bit of a messy situation. As you can see, the other armor response officers were on scene. And we could just show you right now. This is what happened. So, yeah, these suspects over here, they're open fire on us. Like a bit of a mini police report. Lost some money, and obviously Needle Duck is teleporting with me because this is how the script works. By the way, if you're new, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do videos like this every two days if possible, and sometimes I live stream as well. And I also release exclusive mods, or I link mods to my affiliate uh, partners in the description. Or if you just ask, I'll give it to you, link to you, or something like that. Um, these guys are now shot dead. Got an ambulance coming, I think. You can listen. Yeah, there's the ambulance. So the ambulance, London Ambulance Service is on its way. And we're going to go back in our car. We're going to file a report with the inspector on scene. So we call the inspector now, the sergeant. So uh, let's go call him. Get code 3 immediately. We'll go get forensics over here as well. This guy's taking pictures. And we're going to go uh, call forensic services. Because we need to clean up as well. What I find interesting is that we really do need a proper corner uniform, like clothing. As in like the ones the actual forensics use. What's going on here? Is this an inspector? I believe it is. I don't know why this car turned up, but okay. Alright, how's it going? We use the take a statement menu, and that basically in our game, that's the closest we can get to uh, giving a report. So we get him to file a report. We're telling him what happens now. Officer Kiss Cadden. So as you can see, he's got his pen and paper out, or his iPad or whatever. We're filing out a report with the inspector. And what we'll do then is we'll get back in the car and we'll just head back on patrol. There's one bullet hole, there's two bullet shots in our window, so we'll need to go back to the uh, station to repair the vehicle. Apart from that, everything's all good. Thank you very much. Let's go. So as you can see, minimal damage to the vehicle. We're trying to roleplay things realistically today, so we don't mess up or anything. Right, we'll go to the closest station for this because we just need a quick maintenance before we can go back on patrol again. The left over here. So we're going to go to the station now, guys. What the heck? Typical London traffic. Oh my gosh. Bloody hell. We'll drive back to the station now, guys. And oh my gosh, my bumper's actually falling down too. I love this game so far. Do you know what? I will give you a tip. For me, what seems to stop the crashes is running as administrator for Raid Truck Plugin. So when you load the game, Always run as admin, even though it says that it might have problems or something. For me, on my PC, it seemed to work fine. Here's the uh, station. Let's drive up inside here. Oh, there's, an, there's another cop car there as well. So, we're going to go repair our vehicle now. So, if you can see, we'll show you some of the damage. Let's give it another waypoint. We'll get another call coming up as well because we don't want to be uh, without a job for too long. Civilians being shot. Oh, that call does not work so for some reason. Drive-by shooting, that would be interesting. Okay, Rancho, this is drive-by shooting. Inspect the damage to our vehicle. Oh, <laughs> the vehicle went. All right. We'll spawn another version of our car in, so uh, there we go. FBI 1, there we go. That's nice. I know, oh, what the hell? Shots fired. Freaking terrorist in the police station. He's dead. Right, we'll leave the inspector to clean up the mess. For some reason, I seem to be invincible, so it should be good. Right, Officer Needle let's get back in the car. Oh, he's a bit, he's, my, my character's very um, panicked now, because he's running around the place. But we need to get to this ship shot, um, the civilian shot person that's been uh, randomly shot at. So, put blues and twos on. Uh, what's happening here? Oh yeah, I know what this problem is. Right, let's go. So I grade response. Last known location. What's going on here? Whoa. Is this another attempt at an attack at the police station or something? Get out of the car. Oh, oh, shots fired, shots fired. On the ground. Get on the freaking ground. Of course, some extra units over here. I do not trust what's going on right now. Suspect arrested. What was happening there, guys? I have no idea. Apparently, we've been attacked at today. Got all the units coming. 
newest units. These guys will take care of all the mess. And we have a van coming too. Okay, all the officers are on scene. So this station is safe. And I've been ordered to skip this. Leave these guys to do that job for us. And we're going to go straight to the um, drive-by shooting call-out. So, oh, don't want to pick you, Mr. Leaflet. What the hell, Mike? You get the freaking van, you idiot. Been here for a long time. Oh, no, what the hell? I hate this game. I hate how this game... I really wish that they fixed this in 0.4. I hate how that works. It's just so counterintuitive and stupid. Come on, get in the freaking van, you lazy idiot. If he gets to the back of the car, I'm actually going to shoot him on spot sight. Oh my gosh. Right. How do you release him? So why the hell is Needle Dick getting out of the car? I have no idea. So make this an eye grade response now. Apparently I was attacked at the station again. So I have no idea how that works. But I think it's a gang script in my game. Right. Oh my gosh, is this car actually not working now? Needle Dick apparently is bugged out. So I have to go to Child Lock and I have to like turn that on now. And hopefully it won't dick about anymore. What's happening? Oh, he's getting out of the freaking car. So actually pissing me off. Alright, let's go. No, you don't. Oh, I can't stand this getting on my nerves now. Like, there's no crash, but just the freaking bugs in this game. The people that are idiots and just the... Basically, the um, script's messing up. But uh, we'll get there real soon now. See, look, not going to pull over for me. Okay, we're on scene. Trojan 01 is on scene. Sorry, 03, my bad. Okay, so... Oh, we have the vehicle. We have a vehicle pursuit. Why are they shooting at us? We're getting a shot at. It's a massive gang area as well. It's been ambushed. We need to get a helicopter in the air. Follow this vehicle. He's going up Orchardville. We'll carry on. Don't you worry, guys. We're not going to give up on this sucker. MP, we have a vehicle on Orchardville Ave. It's going southbound. Taking a left, a left. A few bullet holes, but as you can see, our resilience is quite high. Highly accurate fire, mind. Pointing a weapon at us. Where's Needle Dick? Where's my backup when you need it? Suspects down, suspects down. Blows off nearby roads as well. And where the freaking hell is Needle Dick? I don't know. Where is Needle Dick? Okay, here's the backup. We've got the coroner van coming. We've got backup coming from somewhere. You can hear sirens. What I need to do right now is I need to find out where my partner is. So if we just go cop mail, just over here. We try and teleport him somewhere. What? Where is he? Oh, he's not gone on the ground, does he? No, he should be fine. More backups coming. And they're taking pictures of the incident, the forensic services. Uh, what's going on here? Apparently they're stuck behind the gate from their own stupidity. We've got regular cops on scene. I'm going to give Needle Dick a break because apparently he's just gone for walkie, so it'll just be me now. So, we'll go back in the car. Okay, so we got backup arriving. Multiple units and investigation is underway as the road's being closed. So I can show you right now, this is the incident. As you can see, the forensic services are just doing nothing. Let me go move them for a bit. You can thank me later, guys. I love this, it's like SimCity. You, know, you can just literally... What is it taking pictures of? It's like SimCity, you can just move things around and, you know... Do what you want. If there's glitches in the game, it's like God mode, where you can just create stuff and change stuff and everything. And like, that's what I mean about the menu mod. I promise I will stop fanboying over it once I'm used to it, but right now it's literally such a game component that I can't go without. Oh my gosh, this car is still beaten up. Okay, never mind that right now. Apparently, we've got a pursuit with armed suspects. We need to get them right away. They're harassing coppers, so we'll go to Elboro Heights, get a helicopter in the air as well. We've got a second pursuit happening. Helicopter inbound. Trojan 03 will be entering the pursuit shortly. 
Right, we need to open the road, nearby roads, otherwise we're going to have a lot of bugs that will happen. So we just get out the car. You have to get out the car, by the way. I don't know how annoying that is, but it happens. Let's go! Okay, this is an actual pursuit now, guys. Even though my car is slightly scraped, I'm going to be taking it very seriously and making sure that we don't do anything too stupid. Right, we're on the uh, Route 20. Haven't got time to put my seatbelt on yet because I have to drive very quickly to the location, and obviously the dick's not with me. Okay, uh, vehicles, a uh, white Sprinter van. Sorry, my bad, it's a white box on Monovo. A Renault of some sort. Mission to open fire. What the hell is going on? Where's my gun? Where the hell is my gun? Where the fudge is my gun gone? Is this like texture loss or something? Like, what the hell? Okay, I have to time out for a sec, guys. See if it's got. Okay, there's my gun. There's my freaking gun. Right. Where's my car? Oh, here's my car. Right, we need to go continue the pursuit. Oh, someone else shooting us. Close nearby roads, close nearby roads, suspect is down, all suspects down. Okay, this is the situation, guys, I need to call some backup now. So I'm also an instant commander, because this uh, this uh, over-flying -like view is amazing. That's what I love about it, and we've got extra backup coming as well, so we're going to call a coroner now for this situation. Let me know what you think about the new uh, camera view and the menu mod, by the way, because this is literally, as I said, hands down the best mod I've ever seen for GTA 5. Look at that. Just flying past, it makes it so much more cinematic. Uh, he just shot the guy there, didn't he? Where are the other cops? The other cops are on their way. I can hear the sirens, so they're obviously around the corner somewhere. Are they on here? Oh, they're on the traffic road. Okay, there's more ARVs coming. And this is my car. And we're going to switch to a marked unit now because we're out of um, we're out of unmarked BMWs. So unfortunately, we have to make do with what we've got. This car is too damaged for us to safely drive. So there you go. All right, we're going to go fly over to the station now because it's much quicker than driving there. And whoop do do, we are literally there. Awesome. So this is the main car park, and if the car's a bit damaged, I'll just pop it there. I'm sure this shift sergeant won't mind. Right, we're going to go to the back of the station now, we're going to switch to the marked version of the car because we're out of unmarked units. And hopefully Officer Needledick can join us, if not then, you know, no harder feelings. As I showed you earlier, this is the traffic garage. It's got all the type of things you'd expect and obviously armed response vehicles as well. Prison transport required. Bank robbery, runaway vehicle, personal fire, what else have we got here? I had to switch the other uniform. I like this uniform too, but uh, I like the other one as well because the problem is with the other one, for some reason, menu hates it. Whenever I use that uniform, it crashes the menu mod. We're going to go spawn in uh, Officer Needle Dick now and we'll go to where are you, Needle Dick? You silly nonce. Right, so literally, I'm making him as my companion and I obviously give him, you know, different face because you want to look the same. It's going to be a bit creepy and weird. Hopefully, he will not. Well, hopefully, he won't walk off now. If he does, I'll turn child lock on, and unfortunately child lock doesn't seem to be working, but hopefully we'll be able to work something out. Why am I running on the spot? Now let's get in the car. So you can see you've got the orange light on top. Vehicle options, child lock. Pray for me guys, I hope it works. If it doesn't work, we'll fudge that. So I think we have to get the car driving first for it to actually work. Like to make it ours. Needle dick, where the fudge are you? Whoa. Is that the reason that is that the reason why Needle Dick the other Needle Dick vanished is because the child locks did something to him. That is really weird. Where's my partner? He's gone invisible or something. Like lit I know that he's there. I know it. Really sorry guys, I don't think Mr. Needle Dick's gonna be joining us again because obviously he just disappeared now, so he does his own weird things. Sometimes when he gets a bit bored in the game, you know, he'll just think really strange, but anyway. Armored car robbery, that's very interesting. I've never seen that call out before. We'll take it on and see how it goes. 
Trojan 03, responding to the Mesa's the armoured car robbery, we'll be keeping a healthy distance away from the vehicle because obviously they might be armoured and they might be shooting at us. Heading there, I grade. Estimated time of arrival will be two minutes. I'll follow that pursuit unit blip at the front because I don't think the armoured car is on our map. Continuing up Adams Apple Boulevard. It's a blue G4S van, I believe. Stolen G4S van, uh, heavy automatic weapons. Probably some more CO19 units in the pursuit. Other vehicle in sight. Automatic fire. Oh, friendly fire. Oh, it's not a friendly fire. Damn it. That's a freaking security guard off uniform. Get out your car. You run me over, I'll shoot you, okay? Where's the second guy? Idiots in the way. Suspects down, suspects down. What's happening? Why are you shooting at, guys? What are they shooting at? Oh, it's another security guy. It's, uh, these are security guards. They've gone renegades. They're literally just like, um, they've gone rogue. We'll call a corner for these guys. Okay, we clear up the mess. What's that stupid car doing? To move my vehicle off the road because I know that my door's going to swing off. But the forensics fan is on the way. And I guess we can go on another call now because that was crazy. Here's the uh, London Ambulance Service, so they're going to be checking for pulse of these guys, and apparently they're just dead, so the forensics guys will take over instead. As you can see... Whoa! Shots fired, shots fired. Who's shooting what? Who's shooting who? Oh! What's going on? What is going on? Who are they shooting at? I want to know. It's not the paramedic, is it? No, paramedic's fine. Oh, they shot him again. That's so pointless. That's it. That's enough bullshit for one day. I'm getting back in my car and driving away. I don't know what's going on there, but obviously game game bugs and everything. I don't want my car scraped. Right, that's it. Sod this game. Oh. As I've uh, made myself to forum drive, it looks like we have a stolen Aston Martin. Silver is driving the opposite side of the road. Given chase, initial chase, we'll just ask MP for permission to continue, but uh, currently on McDonald Street. So guys, as I left that firearm incident, we literally have a stolen car in front of us. You could tell because they're driving erratically and the alarm system is on. Vehicles fail need to stop. McDonald Street. Going left, left, cross the train tracks. High caution, high risk. Give this car chase because it's stolen. So we're going to go up Covenant a Avenue. So Silver Aston Martin. Seven zero in a five zero. Bonnet's just flipped off. Have a vehicle pursuit with this car, and it's a little bit harder because there's no blip on them at the moment, which makes things even more fun. It's continuing very quickly, taking a right towards the airport. I like, this is how cars should drive in pursuits. They shouldn't be going three miles per hour like the normal LSPDFR callouts. They should actually be driving really fast. Right, going up Alta Street. Continuing, continuing, taking a right. I can't call back up yet because I can't even stop him. I'm, he's going so fast that I can't press shift to close him in. Going down Autopia Parkway. Taking a right towards the uh, Elysian Island. So guys, impromptu vehicle pursuit right now. This silver Aston Martin has just literally taken off and it's being pursued by me. Can't call him back up yet, we have no authority to. What we could do is just follow them. When I get close enough, I'll press shift and then I'll try and see if we can stop them. You know, Or if they don't stop, then we'll get back up and we'll get a helicopter and everything. Go towards the airport. Collided with a civilian vehicle on the opposite side of the road. The bumpers now flew off. 
medium risk at the moment because the bumper and the uh, bonnet are off. Stopped and stopped, stopped, stop. Vehicle is stopping. Vehicle still failing to stop on Greenwich Parkway. Okay, vehicle's making off. He's not stopping. He's on New Empire Way. We now have a pursuit authorised. So, um, this is what we can do, guys. We can now chase them. Taking a right right towards the uh, airport. Vehicle pursuit is now underway. It's under lead vehicle. Got another unit, but he's not a pursuit unit. He's not going to join us. Go against the uh, other side of the carriageway. Going to need a helicopter over here. I'm going to have to call it off as going the opposite side of the road, so what I want to do is I'm going to try and catch him on the other side. And what we'll do is actually ram them in. I'll make this the last incident of this video. So what we'll do is we'll literally just deal with this and then we're done. So I'll just see. Actually, I'll do one more call out after this if we're feeling about like it, but um, there's no guarantee. We have the helicopter directly above them now. Okay, we're coming up on the uh, rear approach of the vehicle. I see him leaving the airport. One Greenwich Parkway vehicle is um, 9 0 in a 3 0 zone. Risk is uh, medium. It's taking a right, a right, or an exceptionist way. I'm giving chase to the vehicle now, as I'm the lead unit and the only unit that we see at the moment. I should really play multiplayer because the amount of communication we're doing, I'm just talking to myself and trying to make the game more interesting for you guys. Oh my gosh, I swear that was on purpose. To be fair, I always revise for like multiplayer games when I'm doing this. Like if I'm doing the comms of the pursuit or just testing, then I'm trying to practice for London's Calling or whatever other roleplay community I'll be playing in. So this is like all training to me really, but we'll do some multiplayer stuff soon just to let you guys know. Utopia Parkway, as I've uh, reached the cross, cross section, he's taking a left past Wembley Stadium. Right, right, towards the airport again. You have permission to use uh, tactical maneuvers to stop this guy, by the way. So, yeah, if you guys are watching right now, I'm trying to use real pursuit techniques. You may sometimes think, oh, you know, I'm just a wannabe copper and I'm just doing these vocals, but to be fair, I'm considering training for specials, so this is actually important to me. Now, not as a full-time career, but as in, like, uh, something to do on the side, so obviously, because it's quite cool, and also it's a reason to keep fit, because you have to be jumping over fences and chasing people, and also it's a degree of responsibility in your life, and I suppose that really helps someone that's... You know, if you're at this age and you go to uni and you, there's a lot of responsibility out there and taking something like this in your part-time quite seriously is something, not the game, but I'm talking about, you know, being a specials officer or something, quite seriously, that's something that uh, can give you a good bit of discipline without having to join anything crazy like the army or anything like that and change your complete careers idea. But anyway, I'll do a proper video on that sometime for you guys to um, notice. If you're interested, you could just do like a Q&A with, with me or something like that. I've got a company that's sponsoring those videos, so we could try that. But I'll only be answering proper questions, I'll be asking, answering stupid questions. Right, he's on Lindsay Circus now, going northbound. Risk is now medium again. We can call some backup units. Got some more backup units coming, guys. Oh, we have permission to ram the vehicle as well, as long as there's no pedestrians nearby, because it's driving crazily. More ARVs in the pursuit. And a helicopter above as well. Trying to ram him off the road is a typical technique that MO19 use now. They're, because obviously things are changing in London now, so you know, you can chase someone on the bike and they would stop. They wouldn't be allowed to continue anymore. But these days they can knock them off the bikes because of the amount of crimes that have happened from it. Dorset Drive, intersection.
Oh, almost missed him. India 99 is above. Wine well, pass, I suppose you could say. Now going Eastbourne Way. Pedestrians nearby, so we can't do any uh, T pack tactics at the moment. This guy is not stopping, he's just continuing and taking the piss basically, but it's good that we're behind him and we've got the helicopter bug and everything because it means we're in control of the situation. He's now going there, down uh, San Andreas Avenue, Peaceful Street, <laughs> Peaceful Street of all names, of all places they have to call this street Peaceful Street. Freaking Los Santos has never been so ironic. Go, 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 go! Oh, stop him, stop him, stop him! Stop where you are! Suspect stopped. Watch it, guys! What are you doing trying to run him over like that? Oh my gosh, this guy's wearing a t shirt. I didn't even know we could wear t shirts in this game. I've been doing it wrong all this time. There where you are, sucker. We got him, guys. Good job. I think the pursuits, when they happen impromptu, like uh, as in they happen without you even planning for it, I think they're the best pursuits to be fair, not the ones that are spawned in game. We'll do one more call for you guys, because obviously I know you guys love this type of stuff, so we see if we've got like a a uh, active shooter or something. Is there another thing I could do? Let's see. Uh, any interesting stuff? Active threat. We'll try this call, that's slightly different. Chamberlain Hills on the other side of the city. Well, not the other side of the city, sorry, that's a lie. We'll head there immediately, we'll get the regular units to clear up this mess. So, last call out of the day, guys. Shout out to all you guys on the channel right now. I hope you really enjoyed this video so far. We've got one more call out. We have precisely one more call out before we finish this video, so whatever's left of this car, we're going to head to the situation right away. Uh, we are updated 61 seconds. Okay, we're on scene, we'll have to roll up very carefully here, because you know how bad this game gets in terms of people shooting and everything. So we just stop here. Oh! Shots fired, shots fired. We're being shot at immediately. Get the hell out of this area. Oh my gosh, that's a freaking ambush, guys! That is an ambush! Get an ambush, guys. To close this road off. Get behind the car, obviously. Uh, all available units. Open fire. Close the road off. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's down, he's down. Got more units coming, as you can see. We've got other armed units coming, so we've got the whole freaking brigade at the moment. What are you doing here? Oi! He's got a gun as well, as you can see. Show you actually, he's got a freaking gun in his hand. You see that? You hear that? That was a gun. I've got more of them coming. Right, there's one over here. Where the hell is this guy? Oh, I know where he is. Throw tear gas, distract him. Gas, gas, gas! Okay, neutralize, neutralize, get out of the area, guys. Officer, get the hell out of the area. Okay, we we'll laid down suppressor fire, but he's dead. This is good. They're all down, so I think we shot him in the bushes somewhere around here. There he is. Freaking, he looks like a mafia boss. 
So this is the aftermath, guys. Bloody hell, literally bloody. This is a very bloody shooting. We've got like over 10 people dead or so. It's going to be a long job for the forensics. Um, I would say one thing. I really enjoyed this video, and I had not one single crash, which I am so thankful for. My car is totaled now, so obviously that's not going to be seen in service anytime soon. Um, thank you very much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like the video, share it with your friends, check it out on Facebook. I'll probably make a mini version of this video for you guys and put it like, you know, the BTEC Lad Bible or something like that. But I will see you guys soon. Stay tuned. And these guys know what they're doing. They're being sensible. They're just walking away from trouble. More real life mod videos will be coming soon as well. So um, you guys watch out for that too. I'll catch you guys next time. So stay tuned for some more action.